Okay, so we're going to, uh, in this video, explain how our new cable testing equipment works. I have here in my hand a tone generator, and this uh, tone generator will uh, inject a 1 gigahertz tone uh, down the cable you wish to test. On the other end of that cable, we uh, attach the, the tone receiver, and it will detect that uh, 1 gigahertz tone and see how much its power is reduced by. Uh, therefore, giving us indication if the, if the cable is damaged um, and other uh, things like how long the cable is. So, the kit comes with these two parts here. And uh, what I do is I stick on a battery. It's a standard 5 volt phone battery. You can buy them in any shop. And I Velcro this battery onto the back of the unit. So, if you zoom in here, I'm going to show you that now. So here we have the tone generator, and I'm just going to get two pieces of Velcro and pop it on like that. I then take a battery and I just stick it on like that. And then whenever I want to power on the tone generator, I just plug it in like that. You will see the LEDs light up, and the first six LEDs and it gives you an indication that the tone is uh, is correct. Okay, if you don't see those six LEDs, then there's an issue with the tone or there's an issue with the power. This is all good. The two uh, blue LEDs just show you that it's operational. So this tone generator is now generating a one gigahertz tone out this port. So I'll just put that aside, and I'm going to do the same with my tone receiver. So on the back. And then I can just plug in this cable like that. And you will see the, uh, the tone receiver boot up. And it's got a, a calibrate button here. Now you'll notice there's a X on the, these pigtails on the end of the cable. And we want to calibrate that out of the system. So. Take them off. So we want to measure from here to here. This part, the start of the cable to the end of the cable, and we're not interested in this part. So we're going to attach these here. Attach this one here. And then I connect the two. If you can see here what I'm doing. Connecting them straight across like that. Once that's done, I press this button calibrate, and you, you'll see here you have it's firstly it tells you some information. It says tone 1000 megahertz, it says the average power is uh, 432, and it says the calibrated value is 436. So I press calibrate, and we can see now that our calibrated value is 431, and that's saved into the memory of the microcontroller. So that's the first thing we do. We only ever have to do that once. If we're testing all the, uh, if we're testing all, if we're testing all the cables in a building, and um, then we only need to do this calibration once. And then afterwards, we can go around to all our cables and just connect this to one end of the cable, connect it this to the other end of the cable, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Okay, so I have a 26 meter length of SD400 cable here. Um, we are going to measure, um, see if we can measure this cable accurately. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up the tone generator to this side. And I'll connect the tone receiver to the other side. So what we're trying to do is here, we're trying to see is there an issue with the cable. If there is if some sort of issue with the cable, if the connector is put on badly or if there's a kink in the cable, then this cable will attenuate the signal more and our, our testing equipment should pick that up. And all I need to do now is look at the LCD screen and it says uh, 26, 25.9 meters. You zoom in there. So it, uh, it accurately uh, calculated the length of that cable. So we have here SD400 cable, it's 26 meters long let's say, and the loss is 3.5 uh, dBs. All right. If, instead of saying 25.9 meters here, it said 50 meters here, 
uh, then you can deduce that there's an issue with the cable. If you already know that the cable is roughly 25 meters long, 26 meters long, and this tool is telling you no, it's actually 50 meters long or it's 100 meters long, well then you know that there's a huge amount of attenuation happening that should not be happening in the cable. And uh, from our experience, that's mainly due to these connectors that are, that are put on. Typically these N type male connectors here. So what we typically see when we visit buildings is that that inner connector uh, is too far in, is too far inside, or there could be a braid of metal that's crossing from that inside connector to the outside part here. Uh, and this can uh, typically result in, in attenuations. So that's the whole point of this uh, cable testing equipment, is to ensure that all your, your cables are good. Um, if I just go back to the receiver tool here, uh, you can actually do test different cables as well. I mean, I'm testing SD400 here. If I press the menu button and then I press this cable, uh, you can choose uh, different ones here. So um, you can choose SD240 or you can do SD600. I just press back arrow, back arrow again. And now, I'm, and now I can test my SD600 cable and do, do the same thing. Uh, you can actually, if you want, also to add your own cable types. You would just uh, choose one of the empty slots and then you can start um, editing and naming your own cable. So that's also uh, possible with this uh, tool. So the idea anyway is to, when you install your cables, to test, test them then, then and there and tick them off one by one to be sure that you don't have an issue. That's it.